Hello and welcome to the San Siro here in Milan. Home to both AC Milan and Internazionale and the venue for the 2016 Champions League final. And here we have AC Milan against Leverkusen. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. Look at the lineups. So it's down to business here. Spoon forward. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Honda. And it's Baca. Carlos Baca got into a good position down the right, just needs support to arrive. Honda goes long and forward. Was always going to be the keepers. So what now? It's a forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. Montalivo, Kuczka, Bonaventura with the ball through. There really wasn't very much in that, not far away from being a telling final ball by taking that rune into a central position he made it easier for the defense Tolly showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball but couldn't quite sort it out and it's Baca looks to slip it through there's no flag oh, that's not going to find its target Kuczka passes it square, and that's been repelled. Both sides a bit lacking in intent. Chalhanolu displaying his defensive capabilities there, that's no striker's tackle. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence. And, and he's, he's off on a marauding run. And he's there to hoof it away. Aim forward. It's a forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. Get a throw in. The referee's awarded a free kick. Decent ball. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. Some first-half thoughts? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. <laughs> an intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. And I needed a better pass there. Now here's the through ball. Leverkusen keep the ball, but... Or anything meaningful with it. 
Nil-nil still. It's a game that needs a bit of life injected. He's through. Oh, surely that deserved better. I think there's always that danger that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them. Milan going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Kuchka. Steered out wide. Well positioned to make that interception. Chalhanolu. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Tries a through ball. Can he find a finish now? Carlos Baca. Kuchka's delivery. Now it's Honda. Can he deliver? Swept in. Off the post. No, not this time. And it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. That's not going to make it. Well, they've got one eye on the clock, but the balancing act is very fine at this stage. Go for it, and it could backfire. Sit back, and it may be at a price. Keeper's ball. Bonaventura. They really need to start moving the ball forward with pace at this late stage of the game. Kuchka. Now the pass. It's Baka! Oh, the ball's come loose. He's missed, but not by that far. But if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. There he is, making his presence felt. Well, there's no doubt that the whole team revolves around him now. He leads by example, and he's become the main pivot. Cracking player. The final whistle. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? I think they'll be a little irked by the fact that they had control for good periods of the game and didn't do enough to turn that control into victory. Thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.